I'm going to make these uh, bi-monthly uh, recaps of Creativity Club so you guys can um, get an idea of what we talk about on our live Zoom group coaching. So let's see, we talked about one of our members um, committing to creating 10 paintings on the same theme and what that meant to them, how they couldn't be sketches, right? And so they had set up rules and that brought us to talking about how structure can be helpful but how it needs to be balanced with flow and those moments of realizing when your structure is constraining you and you need to let it evolve and then restructure and that kind of thing. So like, that's what I found in a body of work. You'll make three or four paintings and then you'll learn something and then that, construct, that structure, those rules that you put on it to begin with can limit the growth. So can you restructure it so that the work can then evolve? But if you have no structure, then the work can be everywhere and it can be very hard to get anything accomplished. And then um, we talked about difficulties in talking to people about your work. Let's say you have a piece in a show and people ask you what it's about. And things that came up were like, I feel like the more I say, the more limited it is perceived and I can't get across the true meaning of the work and um you know and all those stories that we we talked about all those stories the ones i used to have like i'm a painter not a speecher not a writer not, you know just look at it i'm a visual artist right but that's a defensiveness that's an excuse and so i talked about us knowing ourselves and knowing our work and our desires enough to take responsibility for what we're doing so that we can really put it out there unfettered um, and unworried, unbothered about how people perceive it, really. That is another life of your work. There's your relationship, your intention, and then there's what happens to it when it leaves the nest, and those are different things. Um, we talked about the pain of growth, doing new things, showing for the first time, um, writing your first artist bio and how it's like puberty, right? It's awkward. People can see that you have peach fuzz on your upper lip. People can see that you're gangly and your voice uh, is not <laughs> what it used to be or what it will be, but that's the price of growth. But also that it's okay if it's too scary you can wait. There's no rush. And if you feel like you've got enough courage to try something new, then go forward. It's just about self-awareness. So these are all the types of things that we talked about. I hope you join us in two weeks.